Welcome back, everybody, to Third Phase UFO Report. I am your host today, Michael Roser, and I'd like to take a little bit of time to go over some Google Earth discoveries that have been made in the past year uh, that Third Phase of Moon has released and we have all been analyzing since. Uh, the first one I'd like to bring up is really interesting. It's from MacDill Air Base, wherein we find this tetrahedral shape carved into the Earth at an enormous scale. Uh, along with some other anomalies within that design. So we're going to start there, and I'd like to hear what Blake has to say about this, and we'll go further. From Google Earth, and we're looking at it right now. You see, you guys see it? You see something very strange? Well, let me just pull it up, guys. And what we're going to find within this hexagon-shaped, uh, I would say, air pad, I'm not exactly sure what the reasoning why they would make it in a hexagon shape let's uh let's do a little flyby around and do some uh, 3d flyby um it's a little shaky but we can see that whatever uh, this hexagon shape represents there's something very ominous within it let me just go back to the 2d we're gonna pull it up so essentially what we're looking at here is the star of david carved right into the face of the earth again on a very large scale uh you know in looking at this design it reminds me of my study of sacred geometry and understanding that this two-dimensional form in its third dimensional form is called a tetrahedron and understanding that this is a very predominant configuration within our arc fields and i believe that it's in the arc fields of any living sentient being wherein if you are able to access this through certain meditations and disciplines and activate it in an energetic sense, you are able to interdimensionally travel or be able to go any other place in the universe within our timeline. That apparently is what this configuration, again, within our arc field is for. So has the military figured this out and been able to use this knowledge in the way of their technology? Uh, this particular shape, the way that it is laid on the land, really appears to be something ritualistic and very intentional when we're looking at it. Bear with me. We're doing this live. Uh, give us a big thumbs up. Tell us where you're uh, flying, uh, watching this from. But here we go. We're getting a really close up look at it. And what we're seeing uh, looks like a missile, if you ask me. No doubt about it. And they're, they're placing these missiles throughout uh, this this hexagon shaped craft. As you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, and six missiles. And then we have some kind of radar t radar tower or some kind of artillery uh, vehicle with a satellite dish on top of it, it, it appears to me. But why would they strategically place six missiles in the middle of this hexagon shape? Has anybody seen anything like this before? Anybody in the military? Is there any reasoning why they would uh, do this? Is this some kind of Im imitate, uh, intimidation uh, techniques? It's very bizarre. Yes, Blake, that is exactly the way to describe this. This is incredibly bizarre. We see six strategically placed missiles uh, looking, again, very ritualistic. Uh, it actually reminds me of how I might lay a grid for crystals in respect to healing. So that's interesting. Uh, the central tower in the middle, could that be some sort of transmitter? Is this indication of activity underground? I really don't think we're getting the whole picture by seeing just this design here inlaid. I think that there's something much more happening underneath that and again we're talking about the use of energy here perhaps to the degree that most people aren't familiar with is it possible the military has this knowledge and is executing it in the esoteric way that we would expect them to it's very curious and of course i love the adjective it is bizarre in summary of this discovery, I must say it's very interesting to entertain the notion that the military or other governmental bodies may be using sacred geometry or other forms of energetic manipulation for their own agendas. Uh, you know, it's not something we haven't heard about. There have been many projects in the past that have allegedly played around with some of these uh, techniques. but. You know, it's been more or less in the way of fairy tale because of lack of documentation or physical evidence to even support any of these events ever even occurred. So when we see something like this just laid out in the desert next to a military airbase 
it brings a lot of questions to mind, and I think it's something that we should be looking at in the most intellectual way possible. Now let's jump ahead a little bit here. Uh, I understand this isn't a Google Earth image, rather it's an image from Apollo 17 and their mission out to the moon. Uh, what we're seeing off in the left-hand corner is this round, very circular structure, which actually reminds me of some of the more recent structures we've found that were similar here on Earth. Now, with the idea that we're exploring stargates on a conscious level these days, I thought it was appropriate to bring this back into focus because for all we know, there have been and are stargates on the moon and other celestial bodies. Let's hear what Blake has to say about this one. The Apollo Mission 17 a mystery is baffling experts right now. And we've got the photograph that's basically shaking up the internet. Street Cap 1 managed to find this anomaly during the Apollo 17 mission to the moon. And we're sharing this right now to the world. There is a big mystery. What are we looking at? Some people are saying this is some kind of stargate that opened up for a split second. We have two photographs. And right there is the Apollo 17 mission just above the lunar surface, making its way to landing on the moon. Did we land on the moon? Well, some people say we did it, but that's another story altogether. Now we've got this photograph and again, we're gonna pan to the left and some people are saying this mysterious object appeared out of nowhere. We have the evidence to prove this theory right now. Take a look at this. We're gonna back up again, get a good look at the whole picture surrounding this mystery. What is this circular object? This object is absolutely curious and it continually reminds me of some of Richard Hoagland's work wherein he had done research and talked to different astronauts who had actually set foot on the moon to discover and divulge what they actually saw. Now one of the things that was mentioned were these glass tubes that may or may not be hovering about three to five miles above the lunar surface. Uh, some of them broken, shattered, some of them more complete. But you know these are odd oddities that you know people have seen going to the moon and researching the moon and some of the experiences surrounding that. So you know is this a structure that was purposely placed on the moon? It's absolutely possible. It could be remnants of something ancient, or it could be remnants of our own projects in progress. Or that being said, some people believe that the moon is a satellite in and of itself. So it's also possible that this was placed there before this moon was in our orbit. Now it's interesting to note that two photographs were taken of this exact same plot on the moon, uh, possibly simultaneously. Now in the first photograph, we see this cylindrical uh, structure or circular object, the way that Blake was describing it as a donut. We see that in the first picture, but in the second picture, we see nothing. Now a couple things could be happening here. Again, Blake mentioned that there might be some sort of retracting ability to this structure. Maybe somebody's able to pull it in and out of the lunar surface at will, uh, or perhaps it was doctored after the fact and somebody just didn't catch what was on the first picture and it was released to the public. Uh, that being said, is this a particular physical object that we're looking at? There's many times people have taken photos of uh, esoteric natures or uh, phenomenon around things that don't seem to make sense or have any real physical body and sometimes it shows up and other times it doesn't. Could this be one of those anomalies where we're seeing the structure at first in one frame and then in the very next, uh, because of its etheric nature, it's gone. Very interesting. Well, I want to thank everyone for joining us here tonight on Third Phase UFO Report and specifically thank Third Phase of Moon for their amazing content that they're consistently presenting and of course those who submit this awesome footage for us to look at and analyze. Thank you as well. Folks, keep your eyes to the sky and always keep your bell on because we have plenty more videos coming out for Third Phase UFO Report from the likes of Rich Giordano, Dr. J Live, and of course Doc Skinner as well. So please guys, keep your eyes peeled and we'll see you on the next Third Phase of Moon UFO Report.